<laughs> Liz and I have both been working way too hard for the past couple of days. Uh, and it's, again, of course, the middle of the night. And I was like, hey, Liz, want to do a questions of the universe? Because <laughs> that's always the best thing to do. The way she worded it, though, it made me feel like she was going to ask me a question. Oh, yeah, we were on Gchat. And I was like, hey, Liz, quick question. Of the universe. No, no. You're supposed to play you. So I was like, hey, Liz, quick question. What? Of the universe? Anyway. Oh, I um, ruined it. I think Just Justin's sleeping. I'm really yelling. Anyway, really the yelling. question of the universe is a special one. I've been saving it. Uh, it's what, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Voldemort's nose? So. Man. Because it's true. If you think yeah. about it. You know, we've just accepted that when when he was Tom Riddle, he was a very cute little boy, and as he got older and he was he in Hogwarts, he was handsome like a handsome young man. Yeah, like a pretty attractive, attractive young man. Handsome young man. And you know, he got like mixed up in dark magic and stuff. And then, fast forward to grown up time, nose is gone. I don't think a side effect of Horcruxes is like loss of nasal. I'm thinking the loss area. of nasal area <laughs> came from when he, uh, like, when the Horcrux thing backs, backfired and he was, like, almost killed. But at the point, at the point at which we meet Voldemort, yeah. only one Horcrux has been destroyed, right? The one that yeah. R.A.B. took? Yeah. Um, I mean, Regulus. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, unless, unless the nose is completely tied up with Horcruxes and the, and the destruction of one Horcrux just took his nose. Why didn't other body parts go when no, the d- other Horcruxes were destroyed? Like why didn't why didn't the the diadem take his ear? Well, or- okay, so I'm gonna okay, so let's let's go back to the moment when he like comes back, like when he rises. Okay, and Wormtail helps him come back in the graveyard. In the exactly. graveyard, yeah. yeah. I, I have a feeling like he just got this like weird snake like half body that like wasn't his original body oh that's sort of. true yeah because so, he was just like the fetus mm-hmm. which i'm assuming had a fetal nose i don't think the movie had him having a fetal nose <laughs> <laughs> um i guess we should i should really go back to the books and yeah. see how it's described there because i don't actually remember we're really going off the movie here also was it in, it was implied in the book that he doesn't have a nose right? i think so I yeah he's a snake like Wait, what about the face on the back of Quill's head? I don't know. I just, I had a feeling like his his soul was so merged with the essence of like Snake and Slytherin. Well, Nagini just, like, was a Horcrux, so yeah. maybe like, yeah, when he when he got his body back, it was tied up in all the things that became Horcruxes, so instead of being fully human, he was mm-hmm. also snake-like, sort of snake-like, and snakes yeah. don't have noses. Yeah. But why was that the only aspect of it? I, I don't feel like it's more Horcrux. I think it's more just the way his soul is. Yeah. And it just took this, sort of like Patronuses take the shape of, that sort of relates to your soul, sort of his body took this animal shape that relates right. to his soul. I wonder what Voldemort's Horcrux would be. And Horcrux. <laughs> 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 uh, um, Patronus? Patronus would be. <laughs> I mean. Know. We know his Horcrux. Yeah, is. we don't know that, do we? I, I mean, I would is. assume it's probably a snake. I'd assume it's a snake. <laughs> snake too. God, we're too tired for this. <laughs> it's so early in the morning. I was like almost asleep. Early in the morning? It's one o'clock. That's late at night still. Okay, yeah, it's still late at night. I don't think it becomes morning until the sun starts coming up. Like, it's late at night until the sun starts coming up, and then it's early in the morning. Okay. This enough, is a whole yeah. different question of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know. I feel like... Like, it makes sense why, at least as a writer, she wrote well, yeah. with, like, no nose. Where did it go, though? If he did once have it and it went, I'm guessing it is oh, sitting... Oh, I know where it is! Wait. Okay, no, you go first, and then I'll do <laughs> it. Wait, it's at that store. Morgan and Burks or whatever? Oh, yeah. That's where I feel like it is. It's just sitting, like, on a little pillow, waiting for some rich... Um, rich pure blood to buy. <laughs> I feel like we've switched roles. We got what I, for what we normally say in these videos. Because I was gonna say, you know that joke where people are like, "Got your nose." <laughs> Someone did it to Voldemort, and it actually worked. <laughs> so there's just some. some but where does it, where does it go when you say "Got your nose" and you actually take it? Like it just goes into the nose some universe, parallel nose universe, the parallel nose universe. <laughs> uh. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I like the Borgen and Burks. Yeah, I think it's sitting somewhere in the depths of Borgen and Burks. Yeah. <laughs> so, a, an eighth Harry Potter book. 
the, the, the Harry I Potter, read that book. Harry Potter, and the and, and the, the nose, vanishing nose, the vanishing, the, va- the vanishing nasal area. <laughs> oh God.